What is going on guys, Carlos here from Live Game in Paradise. We are back again with another episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This time we're at Eventide Island and we're going to find out where the shrine, the only shrine in this island, is located. So if this is the first time you're here, thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're a regular or a, or a member, thank you so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Right, when we're ready, we're going to go over to the tallest point of the island, the highest point, which is going to be that rock right at the back. And when we get down here, we're going to go and use our ascent power to get above to this rock above so you don't have to keep on climbing stuff if you can get away with it. And uh, then we can just got to climb a little bit more and uh, until we get to right to the top because we're going to go to the back of the island. We're going to kind of like go to the rock right at the top and then we're going to jump and uh, and uh, glide to the back of the island so we can get to where the pirate ship is. If you haven't done the pirate quest, you're going to need to do that because it's going to be busy down there then. But because we've done that already, uh, we'll... Uh, we won't have anything to fight but there's going to be quite a few pirates a few buckle beans there if you haven't done that quest so i would advise you to do that quest first and then maybe get the shrine at the same time because the only reason why i didn't include it in the last um uh, video that i released is literally because of um of it being very long the 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 pirates hideout quest is quite long so when you get to the top in here we're going to go and jump all the way down and we're going to glide to that opening right down there at the bottom. There's going to be a pirate ship in here with a, one of those skull and horns uh, at, the, at the front. It's called Eventide Island Cave. And uh, the shrine is right at the back, but you need to kind of like do this uh, quest uh, in order to unlock the shrine. I didn't see a, a, a way to access it because there's just too many baddies in here and you won't be able to... Uh, um yeah, we won't be able to to reach over there so when you get to this location here you can see there's loads of spikes you can't glide over to the other side it will be a bit tricky you might hit the spikes so the best option for you to do is to glue all these planks in here together and uh what we're going to do we're going to uh create kind of like a bridge so we can get us over to the, towards the other side there's not enough space up here to glue all of these together so what we're going to do is uh just you know we don't need all three of them uh, you can just glue this one on top of the other one just uh, just kind of like to make space just like that and uh, it should be able to be long enough to um, to get to, towards the other side there you go just like this then just pick up the whole contraption and uh, we're gonna go and spin it around a little bit uh, but careful because the, the, it, there's not much space in here <laughs> And then we're just just going to cover up this area in here. Just climb on top of the uh, the bridge, the makeshift bridge, and then we're going to go and uh, see the Mari Mara Marari in Shrine. And this one, there's nothing to collect. You know, the 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 hardest part is to get to where the shrine is, the location of the shrine. So uh, you just have to go in. It's Raru's blessing. Pick up what's inside of the chest. And uh, go and pick up your light of blessing, and that's it. That's uh, really done. I just thought I would, I would include it because it's uh, it's um, difficult to find. Uh, basically, you need to. It needs, it's not part of a quest because the quest that you get in here is a side quest. It's not a shrine quest. So you know, it's something that you get as well. So it's a couple of things that you get. You get the the side side quest. And it uh, looks like there's more quests to be done in this uh, in this area as well. So I'll be investigating and trying to trying to find out what else is there to do. So I guess this is it for this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like this video or if this video helped you, please give us a like. Consider subscribing so I can continue releasing more content like this. I'll be back again with some more Tears of the Kingdom very, very soon. So thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.